You look at the St. Lucie River now, it looks cleaner. I can tell you it certainly smells cleaner. Much different than over the summer when it was polluted with toxic blue-green algae. But now we may have finally found a solution to this ongoing problem. President Donald Trump on Tuesday signed the Water Infrastructure Act. With this legislation, we will also better protect American communities from hurricanes and storms. But one project in the bill is perhaps most important to our region, building a reservoir south of Lake Okeechobee. The idea would be to send excess water from Lake O to that reservoir rather than discharging it into the Caloosahatchee and St. Lucie rivers. Many believe it's those discharges that cause the toxic algae. This project, if executed correctly, is in incredible. Uh, it's what we need. But Alex Gillen says that's only if it's executed correctly. Gillen is with a clean water group called Bull Sugar. He describes himself as cautiously optimistic this will work out. We still need appropriations for this project, um, somewhere around $800 million to a $1 billion. So while this is a good step, it is not like winning mega millions. And even if it's paid for, Gillen says it still needs to be operated correctly for this reservoir to work. Independent scientists have looked at it and said it's not clear that this thing is going to perform as we thought it should. Gillen believes we're at least seven years from this reservoir becoming a reality, but he recognizes the importance of this bill, the importance of taking this first step. The politicians know they have to do something. We just can't keep doing this. And speaking of those politicians, this was definitely a bipartisan effort. You have Republicans like Representative Brian Mast and Senator Marco Rubio working with a Democrat, Senator Bill Nelson. And locally, Stewart Mayor Kelly glass Lighton released a statement giving all the credit to the people of Stewart, saying they worked the hardest to make this bill happen. In Stewart, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.